Hey everyone, since it's a common question I get, this is going to be a quick tutorial that will explain how to call C++ methods from a blueprint and how to call blueprint methods from C++. So I have a tutorial project here that's pretty empty. I'm just going to start by creating an object we want to call a method on from blueprints. So we'll call it some object. And the first thing I want to do is mark the class that we're going to create as blueprintable. So you class blueprintable, and that'll make it accessible from blueprints. And we'll name our class you some object. It extends you object. Make a public section. And now we're just going to make a method that we want to call from blueprints. So in order to call one from blueprints, it needs to be a U function. Oops. And it needs to be marked blueprint callable. So now we'll give it a name, call it hello from a blueprint. And just to show that you can, we'll give it some argument. And that's all we have to do in the header. So we have this hello from blueprint method we want to call now. So we have to implement what we want that to do. So I'm gonna make a new file, someobject.cpp. We're gonna include someobject.h, and we're going to implement that method. So use some object hello from a blueprint. And now we're just gonna make it do something simple. I'm just gonna log something to the console. So first we have to define that. So define log category static and just some object, sub, whatever, log all. And then in our function, we're gonna use that category. So we'll do UE log some object sub. And we'll do a warning so it sticks out. And hello, called from a blueprint down to C++ with argument percent D, some argument. All right, so that's all we have to do in C++. So now I'm gonna build and run this. And I just have a basic level here. If we go into open level blueprint and begin play, we can try to call our method. So first thing I'm gonna do is construct one of those objects we just made. So construct object from class. And we wanna do some object. I spell it right and then we just want to call our method so well, we called it hello from a blueprint and notice that it shows up because it's marked as blueprintable and I can put our constructed object as the target and just to show that we can change the argument just make the argument 5 so save and compile that and now if I run and I check our log. At the end of the log, we can say, or it says rather, hello called from a blueprint down to C++ with argument five. And so that's the method that we made and it called it successfully. So now let's say that we wanna go the other way. We wanna call from, uh, we wanna call from C++ and we want it to execute in blueprints. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new blueprint class and we're gonna have the parent of this be that some object that we made, call it BP some object. And then in the level blueprint, I'm gonna just change the type and we have to stop running. So just change the type to BP some object. So now it's gonna create that and it's still gonna call our hello from a blueprint function. So I say I've compile. And now I'm gonna go down into C++ again and in some object.h, we're gonna create what's called a blueprintable event. And it's still a U function. So U function blueprint implementable event void call blueprint from C. And once again, we're gonna give it a argument. So int some argument, just to show that we can. And we don't need to implement this because we're gonna implement it in blueprints, but we do wanna call it somewhere. So just to keep things simple, I'm 
just going to call that new method from our uh, method that we already have here. So call blueprint from CPP, and we'll just give it the same argument right back. So now when hello from a blueprint is called, it's going to still log what we were logging before, but now it's going to call back into blueprints. And we still have to say what this does, so let's build and run. So you notice now, if we open up the blueprint that extends some object, and we go to the blueprint editor. On the left here, you see functions one overridable. So if we click on override, notice our call blueprint from CPP method shows up. I can click on that. And now this is the code we want to execute when that uh, method is called from C++. So uh, we're just gonna log something. So I'm gonna make a string and we're gonna say event called in blueprints from C++ with arguments. And then we're gonna combine those two with an append string. So I'll put the argument there, we'll put the string there. And then we're gonna log it. So log message or log text rather. Log string rather. Give it our string, and that's it. So now in C++, it's going to call this event, and it's going to log our event called in blueprints from C++. So we could save and compile. And now if we run that, and I'm going to clear the log first. And when we scroll down, you see our previous message is still there, and right below that event called in blueprints from C++ with argument five. So next I wanna show you one other type of blueprint implementable event. So if we go back to C++, we can also do U function blueprint native event. Void call native. So what this allows us to do, it's the same as blueprint implementable event, except that we can provide a default implementation in C++ for this. So if I go back to our CPP file, similarly, I can say use some objects. And at the end here, I have to put implementation. And we'll likewise have this just log something as well. So we'll say, called a native blueprintable event. And then we're gonna invoke the event from C++ as well. So we'll say call blueprint native event and give it that same argument. And so that's all we have to do in C++. If I go back and build and run once again, So I'm gonna clear our log and I'm gonna run. And now at the bottom, you'll see we have our initial message. We have the blueprint calling, um, or C++ calling blueprints message. And we have our native blueprintable event. And so while this looks like we're just calling C++, what we can do now is if I open that same blueprint object again, that's extending some object. If I look in our functions over here, you see, I have another overridable method called call blueprint native event, and I can implement it. So if I do this, let me just copy my same code here. I can change the message saying overriding a C++ event with argument. So now I'm going to override that native C++ method and we're gonna see this message printed out instead if I run. So let me run that. And we scroll to the bottom of the log and now we see at the end, overriding C++ event with argument zero. And that should be five. It's probably because I didn't tell it to print that out. And yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't pass some argument to that. So fix that really quick and run again. And you can see our argument did indeed make it. 
And so the last thing you might want to do is, well, what if you want to just extend the C++ method? Uh, method You don't want to completely replace it. So we can do that. We go back to our sum object here. And you'll notice if we right click on this event, there's an add call to parent function. So I can click on that. And now we have a node that will call the parent function as well. So we can do that first. And give it the argument, whatever. So now it will call the parent method as well as extend it with this other log. So I can save and compile that. And now if I run one last time, at the bottom of the log, we have our first three messages, and now we have the overriding behavior as well. So that's how you call blueprints from C++. That's how you call C++ methods from blueprints, and how you can override C++ methods in a blueprint. So that's going to do it for the tutorial today. If you like these tutorials, feel free to like and subscribe to the videos, and thanks for watching.